Hello everyone, greetings to all. Welcome to our Civil Engineering Objective channel. In this video, we are going to see about the details of design of slabs. In this video, we are going to see types of slabs, important design notes of slab according to Indian standards, effective width of the slab on various loading conditions, details about the two-way slab and details about the torsion reinforcements. So these are the important points while we designing these slabs. Types of slabs. There are two types of slabs of there, namely one way slab and two way slab. One way slab is nothing but the LY by LX ratio should be greater than two. So it is designed as a one way slab. Similar way two way slab is nothing but LY by LX should not be greater than two and it is designed as a two way slab. So please remember any one of the value of one way slab or two way slab. LY is nothing but the longer direction of the slab and LX is nothing but the shorter direction of the slab. The LY by LX ratio it should be greater than 2 means it is designed as a one way slab and it should not be greater than 2 means it is designed as a two way slab. And also while we designing the slabs we have to consider the important points in our Indian standards. The first one is control of deflections. In order to control of deflection we have to take in the span to depth ratio value in our Indian standards. In Indian standards, they have specified the basic values of span to depth ratios of different kind of slabs. For a basic value of span to depth ratio up to 10 meter span means the cantilever slab, the basic value of span to depth ratio is 7. For a simply supporter means span to depth ratio is 20. For a continuous means span to depth ratio is 40. The span to depth ratio is a very much important value while we are designing this slab. We have to take in the span to depth ratio in order to find the depth of the slab. The similar way for two way slabs of a small span up to 3.5 meter means the simply supported having a span to depth ratio is 35. For a continuous means it is a 40. So in order to find out the deflection value first we have to take in the basic value of span to depth ratio in Indian standards. So please remember these values these may be asked in all competitive examinations and also for gate examinations. And another point is the clear cover we should have to provide a minimum clear cover in order to prevent the corrosion of the reinforcement boss. The, the minimum clear cover we should provide it in a slab is 20 mm so 20 mm we should provide it as a minimum clear cover. Another important point is the minimum reinforcement. In a slabs for HYSD boss means the minimum reinforcement is 0.12% of the grass area. For a mild steel means its minimum reinforcement is 0.15% of the grass area. Please remember HYSD bar means 0.12% of grass area and for mild steel means 0.15% of the grass area. Another point is spacing. The spacing between the bars is nothing but 3D or 300 mm whichever is less. T is the effective depth. So 3D or 300 mm whichever coming less it should be taken as a spacing. So these are the important points while we are designing these slabs as per the IS standards. And next is effective width of the slab on various loading conditions. While slab carrying a single concentrated load means the effective width of the slab is Kx into 1 minus x by L plus A where K is nothing but it's a constant and also it's depending on the width the ratio of the width of the slab to the effective span and x is nothing but the distance of the centroid of the concentrated load from the nearest support that is x and a is nothing but the width of the contact area of the concentrated load measured parallel to the support of the edge the similar way for a cantilever slab means the effective width is equal to 1.2 a1 plus a2 where a1 is nothing but the distance of concentrated load from the face of the cantilever support and a2 is nothing but it's similar to a that is width of the contact area of the concentrated load measured parallel to the supported edge 
so these are the two conditions of effective width of the slab for single concentrated load means effective width is equal to kx into 1 minus x by l plus a for cannulous slab means 1.2 a1 plus a2 or 1.2 a1 plus a and next is two way slab the advantage of two way slab is the two way slab is supported both the ends so the load may be transferred to the all four directions therefore the bending moment and deflection is considerably small while compared to the one way slab so this is the advantage of the two way slabs so two way slabs may be designed as a restrained slabs or unrestrained slabs and also simply supported slabs for restrained slab means there are different kind of boundary conditions are available based on that boundary conditions we have to find out the maximum bending moments so the maximum bending moment per unit width of the slab that is mx equal to alpha x w l x square and mo is the alpha y w l y square where alpha x and alpha y are the coefficients based on the boundary conditions so this is important alpha x and alpha y is the coefficients based on the boundary conditions for different kind of boundary conditions they may be having a different kind of values in indian standards where w is the design load per unit area that is called w so restrained slabs is designed as a there is no need to provide the torsion reinforcement in restrained slabs for a simply supported slab means we have to provide the torsion reinforcement and also while we are designing the two way slab we have divided into three parts of the slabs in a shorter direction and also in longer directions namely edge strip middle strip and edge strips so while we find out in the moments that maximum moments we have to apply it in the middle strip and also the tension reinforcement is provided only in middle strips and it should be extended up to 0.25 l to the end of the slab for a continuous slab means and also 0.15 l to the discontinuous slab that should be extended up to 0.25 l or 0.15 l based on the boundary conditions so these kind of maximum moments only applied in the middle strips that is tension reinforcement provided in the middle strip only for a simply supported slab means the corners are not prevented for lifting and also we have to provide the torsion reinforcement in simply supported slabs in a simply supported slab also the maximum bending moment formulas are mx equal to alpha x w l x square and mo equal to alpha y w l y square the alpha x and the alpha y is is a coefficient values so please remember for restrained slab means it is prevented for corner lifting and there is no need to provide a torsion reinforcement for simply supported slab means it is not prevented for corners lifting and also the torsion reinforcement should be provided and next thing is torsion reinforcement for a slab is is a simply supported on both edges and meeting at the corner means we have to provide the torsion reinforcement torsion reinforcement is nothing but we have to provide a top and bottom reinforcements up to the edge of the slab while slab is continuous on both edges means we there is no need to provide the torsion reinforcement and also the slab is one end is continuous and another end is discontinuous means we have to provide the half of the torsion reinforcement thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you